How's everybody doing today? Thank you for watching my channel and for all your support. My name is Chris and you are watching Wicked Repairs. Um, today's just a quick little video. Uh, I have a Honda EM 6500SX generator. Um, doesn't run and if I spray the intake with um, carburetor cleaner or any type of solder fluid, it does fire up, then it dies immediately. Telltale sign of a dirty carburetor or your carburetor not getting fuel. Um, so I just wanted to show you real quick, I'm going to uh, turn you around here. And we have the carburetor bowl off. Um, I took off the air box lid and the air filter, uh, removed the bolts necessary to take off your air box there and uh, get to your, your carburetor. And um, I popped the bowl off right away. So I'm going to pop the bowl off, see what it looks like. And uh, I just want to show you what the carburetor bowl looks like. And look at that. That is horrendous. This is uh, this is all from water being in the fuel and the ethanol fuel, of course. Nowadays, that we're getting is the worst stuff ever, um, and uh, all that is just stale fuel and corrosion. I mean, this fuel bowl was full of fuel. Um, these do have an electric fuel shut off, and that seems to be working, and it is getting fuel. Look at this, a little piece right here too. Look at that little white piece, little chunk. So that's the type of stuff that this fuel coagulates like this. Basically um, what happens is you have uh, different parts of metals inside your carburetor. You have aluminum, you have brass, you know, from the jets. Um, you, have, you have different stuff in there and what happens is the water that's in the fuel, the ethanol, um, and any moisture that adapts in the fuel system uh, creates electrolysis. Um, it causes things to corrode. It causes the fuel to uh, gum up and look like caviar, basically. Um, so just wanted to show you that um, and let you know that one of the best preventatives to having this happen, um, if you can get ethanol-free fuel um, or true fuel, and it, it is pricey, but it's worth it. You still, I would highly recommend to stabilize that fuel because this still could happen over time. Um, it's not foolproof, but it's, um, you know, the best preventative maintenance I think you could do to it. If you have a fuel shut off, I would highly recommend that you turn it to the off position when you're not using a generator, a lawnmower, um, any type of outdoor power equipment or any or motorcycle or anything if you have a fuel shut off and you have a carbureted machine put your fuel to the off position and drain the float bowl if you have a uh, float bowl drain to get all the fuel out of there um, or run the machine until it runs out of fuel inside of the carburetor uh, that is your best way to preventing stuff like this happening and your carburetor gumming up in anything um, still not a hundred percent foolproof it's not like if you do this that's never gonna happen but your chances are a million times better of it not happening um, always stabilize your fuel <clears throat> pardon me if it has a, um, a metal tank in it should always store it full reason being is that if it's full it's has less room to adapt any moisture from the air from the environment um, and it's not going to allow your fuel tank to rust up so if you have a motorcycle if you have a generator anything with a metal tank highly recommend to store it full and stabilize your fuel uh, that way you don't have any rust that could happen inside of your fuel tank um, if you get rust in there uh, then you're going to create even more problems because now you're going to have rust particles that come down into your carburetor and gum your carburetor up and block up your jets. Um, and yeah, you could put a filter on there. You probably have to change it a lot because it's going to get clogged and still pieces of debris will go by the filter, I'm sure. Um, and you know, your only other choice would be to replace your fuel tank if it gets rusted or put a liner inside, a liner kit, um, which either way is costly. Um, you know, so you're better off just storing it full, full of fuel, and stabilize your fuel. Um, shut the fuel petcock and off, and either run it till it runs out of fuel, or uh, drain it 
you know um, on this one it doesn't have a carburetor drain but you could take off the electronic um, fuel shutoff and it will come out of the bottom hole of your carburetor bowl um, or you could take a little extra time and just dismantle it like I did and put, put it back together dry I mean it doesn't hurt to um, check in there once in a while sometimes uh, you know stuff like this will happen even in a short period of time and uh, it may not pick up in the jets or plug up your jets right away the machine may run for 60 hours like that with no problem and then one day when you really need it that stuff might get stuck in a jet and your machine won't start or won't run properly so just wanted to uh, show you a little bit about fuel carburetors ethanol and preventive maintenance so thank you very much hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below um, any comments leave them in the comments below I do appreciate your comments I do always reply I always try to reply as quick as possible um, sometimes it may take me a day or two but uh, I always reply I do enjoy the conversation the comments any other tips that people might advise as well um, always welcome so thank you very much see you on the next one